In this session, we are going to look at how to format some strings. Recall in the previous session, I said strings are a sequence of characters surrounded by quotes. The quotes can be single, double, or triple. A triple quote is when I showed a doc string comment. When it comes to formatting a string, it is good for generating some text with our variables. Dynamically, it's easy for us to see the output when writing our code. For example, let's create two variables. First underscore name equals Rex. Last underscore name equals Jones. To format a string for a variable like name, we start with an F, then quotes. The quotes can be single or double. Inside the quotes, we write two curly braces, opening and closing. Then inside the curly braces, we write a variable. This variable will be first name. Two more curly braces. And inside these curly braces will be the next variable, which is last name. The purpose of each curly brace is to provide a placeholder for our string. When running our program, the placeholder will be replaced with the value from our variable. Next, we write print name. Then we run. The console shows Rex Jones. Notice how automatically a space is added between the first and the last name. That's because it is formatted. I got something else. Erase everything except for first name. In the last session, I said a doc string comment has six quotes. It could be single or double. These are considered triple quotes because it's three quotes on each side. Let's make the comment be, hello, opening and closing braces. Hello, how are you doing today? Question mark. I hope all is well, period. Have a great day. <laughs> now, we know an interpreter ignores a comment, but not if the comment is assigned to a variable like greeting. Now, it's no longer a comment, but it's a string value. To make this a formatted string, we prefix the quotes with an F. Did you notice how the curly braces change colors? It changed from green to orange. We print by writing print greeting, greeting dot format. And inside format, we write first name, which is the variable. The format method returns the formatted string. In this case, first name is the formatted string. So I add first name inside the curly braces. Let's run. The console shows, hello, Rex Jones. How are you doing today? I hope all is well. Have a great day. We can also format a string without starting the string with an F. I will remove the F before the single quotes and remove the first name from inside the curly braces. Now it looks like there is no reference to a formatted string. However, first name would still get passed into the curly braces. We already have a value for first name, but this time Let's call a prompt with the question. Either way would work. The prompt will be input. What's your name? 
question mark. Now, let's run. What's your name? James. Hello, James. How are you doing today? I hope all is well. Have a great day. Now, we saw that James was passed into the curly braces. We see the console show the same value except for the name change. That's it for changing for formatting strings in Python. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next session.